Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. And if you've been around here before, you know that I am not about um, electric vehicles. They are an absolute ridiculous scam that we wouldn't even be being talked about if any environmental voice and leader in the United Nations and the White House had allowed actual real solutions since November 93. We would have already solved our problems, um, but no one will allow real solutions. So, you know, the, the present occupation is really pushing these electric vehicles, which there, there's so many things wrong with them. I've done other videos, but right now we're going to talk about um, a, a newest problem. It is that a scratched EV battery, uh, your insurer may have to junk the whole car. Now, this is a, a Reuters article. It, it, this, <laughs> it, this was repeated. This is the exact same article in all of these other places. But um, this was March 20th, 2023. And uh, under this picture, it says, Damaged electric vehicles uh, that have been written off by insurers are, are pictured here at, at a salvage yard. It says, um, for many electric vehicles, there is no way to repair or assess even slightly damaged battery packs after accidents, forcing insurance companies to write off cars with few miles, leading to higher premiums and undercutting gains from going electric, which there's no gains from going electric. So um, <laughs> we, can, we can just ignore the last part of that. So it says, and now those uh, battery packs are piling up in scrap yards and in some countries and previously un re unreported and expensive gap in what was supposed to be a circular economy. Okay. These electric vehicles are nothing of an, a circular economy. So a, a research director at an automotive risk intelligence company, uh, Matthew Avery said, we're buying electric vehicles for sustainability reasons, but an EV isn't very sustainable if you have if you've got to throw the battery away after a minor collision. And there's nothing sustainable about EVs, okay? They they are not run by the rainbows and unicorns um, clean electric grid because we don't have a clean electric grid. <laughs> okay, these these electric vehicles that you plug in are being run off of the same fossil fuel energy as burning gases. There there is nothing sustainable about an electric vehicle. A battery pack battery packs can cost tens of thousands of dollars and represent up to fifty percent of uh, electric vehicles' price tag, making it uneconomical to replace them. It says that some companies like Ford and General Motors um, say they make their battery packs easier to repair. Telsa has taken the opposite uh, track with its uh, Texas-built Model Y, whose new structural battery pack has been described by experts as having zero repairability. And Telsa, who uh, Elon says he is the person that is doing the most for the planet, which is which is absolutely ridiculous. Elon is doing nothing for the planet. The solutions the world needs are not allowed. Elon is doing nothing for the planet. Uh, but his company, Telsa, didn't respond for a comment. It says here that Telsa's decision to make battery packs structural in quotes, part of the um, car's body has allowed it to cut production costs, but risk the, pushing those costs back to consumers and insurers. So insurance pays for so much in this country. It, it says that um, EV, EVs constitute only a fraction of vehicles on the road, but the trend of low mileage Zero emission cars being written off with minor damage is growing. And uh, Elon did say back in January um, that premiums from third party insurance companies in some cases were unreasonably high. Well, I, I bet you the insurance 
companies, actuaries would would um, have a problem with that statement. You know, the actuaries, they get paid a lot of money and they're the people that come up with insurance rates based on stats. And, and this article says that already high insurance premiums will keep rising as EV sales grow and more low mileage cars get scrapped after collisions, um, said in, insurers and industry experts. The number of cases is going to increase, so the handling of batteries is a crucial point, said the managing director of the Alliance Center for Technology. And, and that same uh, managing director, Christoph Lauterwasser, uh, said that EV battery production emits far more CO2 than fossil fuel models, meaning that electric vehicles must be driven for thousands of miles before they offset those extra emissions, <laughs> right? So um, if these cars aren't driven for thousands, it doesn't say how many thousands, maybe tens of thousands of miles, um, you know, if your car gets scrapped, when it's very low mileage, then you haven't gained anything and you're not gaining anything with these cars anyways. But right here, right, he said, if you throw away uh, the vehicle at an early stage, you've pretty much lost all the advantage in terms of CO2 emissions. But that is, he's just talking about the battery pack there because you are not gaining anything with CO2 emissions because these cars are powered by the power grid which is fossil fuel driven the exact same as the gas in your car. So uh, it says most car makers say their battery packs are uh, repairable, though few seem willing to share that data. <laughs> so, so um, you know, scratch battery packs where cells inside are likely undamaged but without diagnostic data, it, it has to write those vehicles off. So, yeah, the, these battery packs, these cars, are, these batteries are getting tossed, just scrapped, because their battery pack has a scratch on it. So uh, Ford and GM say that they're newer, um, more repairable packs, um, but... The new large 4680 cells in the Model Y made at Tesla's Austin plant are glued into a pack that forms part of the car's structure and cannot be easily removed or replaced, according to experts. And uh, Telsa um, said, Tell Musk said that the car maker's been making um, design and software changes to its vehicles to lower repair costs and insurance premiums. And the company also offers its own insurance products in a dozen U.S. states to Tesla owners at lower rates. <laughs> and um, then, then they try to back up EVs by saying, uh, because they're loaded with the latest safety feature, they've had fewer accidents than traditional cars. <laughs> yeah, okay. So there's a company that uh, tears down vehicles and advises automakers on how to approve them. And the head of that company, Sandy Munro, said that the Model Y battery pack has zero repairability. Um, a, a Telsa structural battery pack is going straight to the grinder. And uh, over in the UK, the largest salvage company... Um, said that over the last 12 months, the number of electric vehicles in the isolation bay where they must be checked to avoid fire risk um, has soared from perhaps a dozen every three days to up to 20 per day. So, yeah, that that is a, a big increase. Uh, we've seen a really big shift, and it's across all manufacturers. And uh, Policy Genius says it, it costs 27% more to insure um, an EV than a combustion engine model car. And uh, Bankrate says that uh, insurers know that even if a minor accident results in damage to the battery pack, the cost to replace this key component 
component may exceed $15,000. And it says that insurers have to take a cautious approach. Um, an insurance company is not going to take that risk because they're facing a lawsuit later on if something happens with that vehicle and they did not total it. So, yeah, they, they've got to look out for themselves. So this is just um, one more thing uh, about electric vehicles that, uh, you know, makes them an absolute not a good idea and just an absolute smoke screen while actual real solutions aren't allowed. And the thing is, you know, it's not just about the CO2 emissions from the production of the battery. I mean, we all know these batteries um, require rare earth minerals that that are so tough to find that um, the United Nations, this was uh, April 1st, 2023, is starting to allow deep sea mining applications um, in July. And why is that? Um, well, the undersea mining will be conducted to extract key battery materials, cobalt, copper, nickel, and magnesium from potato-sized rocks um, found at depths of four kilometers to six kilometers. So, yeah, now we're not just mining for these rare earth minerals on land, but we're mining, we're going to start mining them in the ocean, okay? So this is all absolutely ridiculous when, uh, imagine if we had hemp cars. <laughs> imagine if we just had people living responsibly and driving their cars more responsibly or not having as many gadgets or having car companies just increase mileage of cars, which hasn't increased over decades, okay? I, I mean, just, just look at your computer, just look at your smartphone. What, when they first came out, they were very expensive and bulky, and they just keep getting smaller and cheaper. And that has happened within a, a decade or so. And yet over decades, car manufacturers haven't been able to increase the mileage of their, you know, gas vehicles. Uh, I don't believe that. And so... Um, this is all ridiculous, and this is just one more reason to not get on to the bandwagon that the powers that are are demanding <laughs> you get on. So stay tuned, people.